A new season of Sea of Thieves is almost here, bringing with it a new, fearsome world of it. Challenging puzzles to solve as you uncover the secrets of the ancients, and incredible rewards to earn along the way. So let's turn up the heat as we burn through all of the details of what's in store in Sea of Thieves Season 13. Captain Flameheart has returned to the Sea of Thieves, and his flagship, the Burning Blade, has been reawakened to scorch its way across the waves. In this new world event, you'll have to face off against a crew of Flameheart's obsidian skeletons as you battle this mighty warship. But taking it down won't be easy. The Burning Blade is the most powerful ship in Sea of Thieves. It has ten cannons. It's impervious to attack from fire-based weapons. And, using the Ashen Roar, it can launch devastating balls of fire. But if you and your crew have the skill to secure victory, you'll be presented with a choice. Stand in defiance of Flameheart and sink his flagship. Or, choose to pledge yourself to the notorious skeleton captain and fall under his service as the new crew of the Burning Blade. If you do choose to take control of the Burning Blade, you'll have to say goodbye to your old ship. So make sure any treasure and resources are transported across your new warship before they sink into the depths. As the crew of the Burning Blade, you'll need to stay alert, as your location will be visible to all of the other pirates across the Sea of Thieves. You are now the world event, and you'll have to be ready for attacks from other crews. Thankfully, you'll get a helping hand from the Obsidian Skeletons as they assist you in defending and maintaining the Burning Blade. As you set sail in service of Captain Flameheart, you'll have to journey across the waves to complete rituals and collect the knowledge of the Ancients, and in doing so, increase the value stored within the ship. But whether you're completing rituals with the Burning Blade, or you're looking to put a dent in Captain Flameheart's grand plans, you'll have to travel to the new skeleton camps that have appeared throughout the seas. The Obsidian Skeletons loyal to Flameheart have constructed these camps in order to extract artifacts from the ancient temples hidden deep below the surface. Like sea forts, these camps can be active at any time, and any crew, whether you're in control of the Burning Blade or not, can visit them. Descend below the skeleton camps and you'll discover ancient temples. In order to open the Crypt Vault within each temple, you'll have to work together with your crew to solve challenging puzzles, aligning points on a star chart to reveal hidden constellations. If you successfully open the Crypt Vault, you'll discover that the Reapers have begun a ritual using corrupted orbs of secrets to extract knowledge from the remains of the ancients that lie within. As the crew of the Burning Blade, you can complete this ritual in the name of Flameheart, increasing the value stored within your ship. For those opposing Flameheart, to put a stop to these rituals means battling through waves of vicious obsidian skeletons, so make sure you come locked, loaded, and ready to fight. With the ritual successfully scuppered and the orb in your possession, you can take it to the trading companies and sell it for a tidy profit. If you're in control of the Burning Blade, how long you spend out on the waves is up to you, and there's no limit to the amount of rituals you can complete. But once you're ready to return the Burning Blade, head to the Reaper's hideout, where Captain Flameheart will be waiting. Rise, loyal servants of the One True King! Upon receiving the completed rituals, he'll reward you and your crew with gold and reputation for the Reaper's bones. <laughs> for those crews who choose to sink the Burning Blade, you'll be able to claim the Blade of Souls, a powerful weapon that not only allows you to harness the strength of the flame within, but that increases in value with each ritual that was previously completed. Cashing this in with one of the trading companies will see you rewarded with gold and reputation. With Season 13, you'll have new commendations and incredible new rewards to unlock. 
Give your ship a burning blade makeover by completing rituals for Captain Flameheart. Or a poison by sinking his flagship and stopping the rituals to unlock the Obsidian Bone Crusher weapons and clothing, as well as the Obsidian Bone Crusher Captain's Cabin decorations and the entire ship set. And for those pirates diving into furious hourglass battles on the behalf of the Servants of the Flame, you can unlock new customization options for the Skeleton Curse. And that's not all. Season 13 is full to the brim with exciting new rewards to unlock via a variety of commendations. There's also 100 levels of new rewards in your seasonal progression. And some stunning new items with the optional Plunder Pass as well as new additions to the Pirate Emporium. The flame is rising, and it's time to choose your side. So prepare to explore long-forgotten temples, battle the most powerful ship on the seas, and take on opposing crews as a fearsome player-controlled world event. In Sea of Thieves, Season 13.